Welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to share one of the most useful ways that I've found to look at obstacles and hardships and difficulties in a way that produces the best possible outcome of them, which is often an outcome that is far better than you could ever expect. There are cliches like every cloud has a silver lining, things like that. Um, there's a favorite quote from Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius um, that the obstacle is the way. The obstacle becomes the way. I don't remember the exact quote, but essentially um, obstacles are not things that stand in the way of us achieving what we want, but instead the very essential ingredients of that success. And I totally 100% subscribe to this. Um, and here's the way that I look at obstacles and, and difficulties. I used to think of them as walls. Whenever I, I was in a situation that I didn't like, a situation that was difficult. Um, maybe I was trying to get clients for a business and people didn't seem interested. People weren't responding. Maybe I was trying to um, uh, win a dance competition and I just kept getting second, third, fourth, things like that. Um, I used to think of these things as walls, as you know, rocks, big boulders sitting on the mountain passway that I just had to find a way to chisel through or, or just turn back and find a different route. Um, and one day, I don't remember why, but one day I started thinking about them instead of as walls, um, as waves. As if I was a, a ship on the ocean. And whenever an obstacle came my way, um, it was just a wave. And yes, waves can knock you off their boat, off your boat. They can they can push you backwards. Um, they can even drown you if if you let them. But they also can be surfed. You can ride out the other side if you can orient yourself right towards the wave. And when I started to think about obstacles in this way, um, I could never feel defeated by an obstacle. I could only ever feel pushed back a little bit. And more so, even more importantly, I started to think of, of obstacles, of, of these waves, as crucial. Because whenever I, I went through something difficult or, or felt a hardship or an unexpected obstacle, I would actually view it as a wave that pushes away people who are not worthy. Pushes away everybody, really. Everybody um, trying to accomplish something like, like I was accomplishing, or like you might be accomplishing. Um, we'll experience obstacles, we'll experience hardships. If you go out on the ocean, you're going to experience waves. And some people, most people, will experience them and, and let themselves be pushed back or they'll give up, or they'll try to find a different route. They won't be able to withstand the waves. But some people will be able to endure, will be able to push through, and eventually learn to surf the waves, learn to ride them, learn to survive even the most difficult ones, and get through to the islands surrounded by the harshest waters, surrounded by the most obstacles, the things that turn away the most people, and that also hide the greatest rewards. When I started looking at difficulties as waves on the ocean, protecting the most valuable islands, instead of as walls that you simply have to chisel through, my entire mindset towards obstacles uh, changed. And specifically, I'll wrap it up with a concrete example. Um, when I was training for the World Championships this year, um, at one point, I sprained my ankle um, before the regional qualifier. And at first, I was 
I was super upset. Um, I was really down because I couldn't train for a couple weeks. And I, um, I at first thought of it unconsciously as like this wall, as this thing that just sucks and I'm just going to have to day by day um, chisel through it and it's going to set me back. But um, it's just this inherent difficulty. Um, but then I tried to look at it from a different way, which is um, there were positive aspects. There were things about this wave that I could surf. Yes, it might push me back a little bit, but I could come down the other side with momentum. Specifically, um, having my ankle sprained allowed me to break down my steps, my, my technique, revisit things really slowly, because I, I had to do everything slowly. I, I couldn't even really do a lot of things, but I could visualize, I could re-examine very small technical nuances of my technique. Um, I thought about it in the sense of uh, everybody, every top dancer, or um, in this case dancer, but in, in other contexts, every top performer will experience things like this. This is one of the inevitabilities of, of the path I was on. And the normal thing to do would, would to let it push me back and just treat it as this big obstacle, this difficulty. Um, but instead I could treat it as a wave, as something to ride forward. Um, and so I did, I, or I tried to. Um, and I used this time to revisit my mindset, to visualize, to work on my technique, to strengthen uh, muscles that maybe were underused in dancing through, through other forms of training, uh, to get physical therapy, and, and to come back ultimately stronger than before. When I got back, my teacher said um, something like, you, you might not have the best fitness right now, but your technique is better than I've ever seen it. And this drove home to me the idea that obstacles can be viewed as waves, as waves on the ocean. And when you can withstand them and look for any opportunity to surf them, as well as recognize that um, waves are inevitable, and most people view them as these horrible things, when you can learn to view them as simply inevitability, simply things that you can learn to surf. And this, this is one of my most valued, most treasured mindsets, the idea that obstacles not brick walls in your path, but instead waves on the ocean, providing tests to ensure that only the worthy people will reach the islands, the goals that you're pursuing. I hope this was helpful. Um, it's certainly been tremendously helpful to me.